That did not go over well with my tummy. Mm. Oh, how long had it been sitting out? You think? An hour? Oh, all morning. No wonder. Oh, I'm gonna power through, but if we need to stop in the middle, I'm, I'll give you the sign, okay? Okay, <sighs> let me catch you down. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Hey everybody, my name is Clark Pickens. This is, I'm the, I'm gonna count down again. Three, two, one. Hey everybody, my name is Clark Pickens. I'm the head nut here at FriendsOfSquirrels.org and uh, this is here is the Squirrel Report, the show where I give you the ins and the outs of what's going on here at uh, my squirrel refuge uh, with my nephew Skip running the camera back there. Uh, if you like this show, uh, please share it with your friends and hit the subscribe and like and all the stuff I'm supposed to tell you to do and uh, do that. Um, uh, the squirrel count. So uh, we just, uh, I, I'm going to be up front with you people. I had a bad donut. Um, and uh, it had that cream filling and evidently it was out this morning. They're homemade uh, and the cream in them doesn't have many preservatives and my tummy is a rumbling. So I just want to be up front. <clears throat> Squirrel count. We're at uh, 74 and uh, it's a fine number uh, for uh, for where we're at right now. So there you go, 74. For those of you playing at home with the uh, squirrel count, uh, it's 74. Go ahead and put that in your uh, Clark Pickens uh, vlog journal. <laughs> uh, also, we got an update on Fry Guy. So uh, Fry Guy has been uh, he uh, he's been doing good with his diet. So uh, I think he's actually lost a little weight. You know, squirrels. It's hard to tell because they. Don't weigh much anyway, uh, but but he's definitely uh, less poochy, and uh, in a couple about two weeks we're gonna let him let him go and uh, see if he just becomes the big fat squirrel in the back or what, and uh, or if he's too slow and gets eaten by a, by a raccoon or something. But um, that's nature. That's a circle of life, as the girls say in the the house. They was like, well, well, Clarky, you gotta. It's a circle of life. Whenever we have a dead animal or an animal eating another animal, you know, gotta, gotta hunt, gotta, gotta eat, gotta eat, gotta hunt, gotta, you know, all that stuff. So anyway, Fry Guy's doing well. He seems happy. Um, I'm thinking about getting one of the, getting a little, uh, little trash can maybe, making it into a little filbert feeder just to, in honor of him since he was, uh, um, we found him in the trash can eating french fries. But, um, so here's, here's something we've been up, Pardon me. Here's something we've been up to. Um, we did an experiment. Uh, we're uh, skipping our down the Grange, and we're, they're talking about bird watching. We're like, well, what? bird watching seems awfully stupid to me. Uh, you go out, and you look for a fancy bird, and then it flies away. And what you gonna chase after a running, flying bird? Oh, there it goes. Everybody, get in the pickup. We're gonna we flew down there. Oh, it's flying over there. Anyway, got us to thinking about um, going on a squirrel watching trip. Um, and the guys down there are like, oh, well, there's only one kind of squirrel, and blah, blah. I'm like, well, actually, actually, there's 286 different uh, different species. Uh, so uh, around here, not as many, but over at the beach, there's the beach chipmunk. And we thought, well, why don't we get some like-minded folks together, and we'll go down and uh, we'll look for a beach chipmunk. So that is just what we did. We got uh, we got six people. We got in the we rented a van. We went down. We charged everybody money too. We're like, this is a legit thing. This is a we're gonna do a tour. So we go down to the beach and uh, we set up a base camp. Uh, I had a radio and I got a walking stick. And uh, there's a, there's I even walked it. Do you have a video of me walking across the creek? Walk across the creek, and it was. It was cold water. <laughs> I don't know what we were thinking walking through the water, but I had my boots on too. But they—they're uh, shorties. They don't go. They should come up to my knee if you're gonna go do any proper wading. But um, no, I didn't have them, so my socks got a little wet. But um, and we looked around for the beach chipmunk, and uh, we, now we did not see the beach chipmunk, unfortunately. But we did see a lot of squirrels, and we saw we were able to show people a lot of just the, the habitat, and and it was fascinating to me because. You know, I understand, I mean, we live in in the forest, right? So we understand a lot of what's going on here, but to see how they adapt 
down at the ocean. Now there are some trees, of course, and there's a there's a lot of uh, pine cones and food for them to consume. But also, um, we saw in some caches we saw some shells. That's fascinating to me. But you know, those little these little guys, they are omnivores, so they are going to eat. Um, they'll eat whatever they get their hands on, just like me. Me and my potato chip pie. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think that's really food, but it's delicious. Um, but yeah, they're they're gonna they're gonna eat uh, whatever they come upon. So if they uh, cracking a cracking a little uh, scal little scalp, I don't know, I don't know my shells, but uh, crap it, crap it, crapping a, a shell open is just is very similar to cracking a walnut, you know, to these these guys. So I um, thought that was cool. That was that was cool, and, and everybody enjoyed uh, seeing that. So didn't see a beach chipmunk, but uh, we saw how. Uh, how squirrels live down down there. We did a squirrel count. We got 112, so that was pretty cool. Um, what do we have around here? And uh, so, so I also saw a lot of other uh, wildlife. You know, there were sea stars on the rocks, and I uh, saw some little crabs, and uh, lots of gulls. I'm not really a fan of birds, but we saw some gulls, and we saw some um, those black black birds with the little yellow beak. I'm not going to look that up for you, but um, and then. Uh, uh, we saw some sea lions out there, and uh, what else we see, Skip? You remember anything? Oh, it's anen anemones, anemones, and then seeing then there were some tide pools, so we saw some tide pool um, stuff. But anyway, it was fun. I think we're gonna try and go somewhere else next time, somewhere, uh, somewhere it may be a little bit different than that. So anyway, that's what uh, that's what that's all about. Uh, let's talk about the sponsor real quick uh, this week. It's uh, corn cobs again. So we're uh, the corn cob people are pushing pretty hard just because they like to push it uh, hard in the summer because a lot of people get get those little picnic table things and they put the here you get this and you just like screw it on. So uh, anyway, corn cobs. You can go over to friendsquirrels.org/sponsors if you want to support us and uh, get the uh, corn cobs that we like. So that's over there. And uh, there you go. That is everything for this time. My name is uh, Clark Pickens. I'm the head nut here at um, head nut here at uh, org. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, tell your friends go check out Clark and his uh, his adventures on the beach. All right. I gotta go to the bathroom. <clears throat>